some of the best pilots in the whole country, I'm going to go out on a limb, say the whole world, <laughs> they're now in San Diego. Right. We're right, for sure. Uh, right now, they're in San Diego for the 2017 MCAS Miramar Air Show. And the excitement really kicking off already. Well, and we know a lot of favorites out there, but one of the favorites, definitely one of the must-see acts, has been with 10 News military reporter Hannah Mullins. She's there with a sneak peek with that fan favorite. Hey, Hannah. And first, I do want to point out the civilian performers at times, they looked like they were going to crash. We're going to go to the ground actually for a minute because I want to take you to the Patriots jet team. We just did that because the new F-35 just went by. It's open. It's, it's exposed. We can't show you all that. Patriots jet team, they're about to take off right now. But when it comes to the Blue Angels, take a look at that jet. I'll tell you, I have never seen my photographer jump so high and scream so much. As they storm the skies, heads turn and jaws drop. Lieutenant Commander Lance Benson didn't say he looks cool, but he couldn't deny it. The flying is, is second to none. The Blue Angels can top speeds of about 700 miles an hour and can fly just 18 inches apart. You know, we kind of have that idea when we're younger. You got a lot of hopes and dreams when you're little. He's living it. They're among America's finest aviators and are impressed by other acts. John Tucker. <laughs> Oracle Challenger tumbles toward the ground and the Golden Knights streak through the sky. Then there's the Marine Air Ground Task Force, which captivates crowds. The CH-53 Super Stallion is a beast of an aircraft. And uh, we can move about 34 guys at a time with their full combat load inside the aircraft. Recon Marines can ride outside like they do in combat. This year's theme is a salute to Vietnam veterans. When they came home, they faced protests, not parades. The air show will have a memorial wall honoring those missing and killed in action. And it's really all about remembering the guys that have gone before you and respecting those older generations that have made sacrifices. Vincent also hopes to inspire future service members. Just to see the level of excitement in those kids' eyes, that is really cool. That's what we're here for. That's what we like to do. Now, general admission is free, but if you can't come, we'll be out here all weekend to bring it to you. We're live at MCS Miramar, Hannah Mullins, 10 News. Looks like fun, Hannah. Well, one thing you all probably want to know about, if you're actually going to go out there, you're going to use Uber, Lyft, or a taxi to get to the air show this weekend. We made a map here that shows the different areas where you can be dropped off. The first spot is located on Miramar Road. You see that's the one right up here up north a little bit. It's near the Flying Leatherneck Museum. Then there's the second location you see right off of Kearney Villa Road. You see the sign for the main gate there. That's actually at the Harris plant exit next to the gold parking lot. There's a shuttle service that'll be available that'll take you then to that main gate. Yeah, it's a good thing. Uh, and be sure to tune in to the Now San Diego tomorrow. Our very own anchor, Ariel Wessler, is going to be live from the show. He's going to bring us all the sights and sounds from the event. Uh, basically, he'll be throughout the newscast. So, uh, so tune in for sure. He'll get to have all the fun. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's